All right, what's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, d Ray, the Divine Relationship Alchemist, helping you heal your relationship with self to heal your relationship with others. I just want to make a quick video, real quick, um, talking about how to get in position, right? Because a lot of us want to manifest things and we want to bring this new reality to life, but we're not in a position mentally, physically, and spiritually to actually receive that that manifestation or to actually receive that desire. Not only that, a lot of people are just, I mean, there's just so much chaos taking place, so much mind games and investment into this illusion. And I can say that, you know, based off of my own experience. But what I've been recognizing, what's, what's keeping me at peace is putting myself in position daily to feel good. Feeling good is the work, right? So if you want something, right? If you want something to manifest, whether it is health, whether it is a certain mentality, whether it is an idea, a job, a business, whatever it is that you want, you have to put yourself in position to actually receive it. And that takes self-discipline. And it takes understanding what you are doing on a day-to-day -day basis that is either adding to you receiving that manifestation or if it is either taking away from that and everything is correspondence everything is law everything is universal right everything is resonance everything is vibration so you can't want to manifest health well-being a business and all of these good things like that but your energy your chi is not aligned with that thing so how do you get in position Again, you get in position to receive whatever it is you desire by creating some spiritual routines, creating some spiritual rituals, right? And it may not be just meditating. It may not be just visualizing. It may be Qigong. It may be yoga. It may be coloring. It may be anything you have to do to put yourself in a high vibration then that's just what it is. You have to do it. There are, There is no way around it, family. And with all the, the chaos that is really ensuing all around us, if you are not tapped in, tuned in, turned on to yourself, your internal guidance system, you will start thinking and believing and fully investing emotionally into this illusion. And that is a function of the ego because the ego wants you to survive. The ego wants you to be here in this in this physical form, no matter what that actually looks like, right? And so if you don't have a spiritual practice for yourself, then you end up, again, succumbing to that and really believing some of the things that you're seeing. Sorry, y'all, somebody was calling. But you end up really believing, feeling, seeing, and, and the ego is always going to find proof, Right? The ego is always going to find proof in the illusion. What do I mean? You know, you may be having issues with abundance or something like that. And, you know, it's like poor people and, and, and homeless people just keep on popping up in your, in your field, in your realm, right? They keep on appearing to your five senses, and when that happens, your ego is like, see, I told you. I told you you broke. I told you you ain't got this. I told you you don't got that. I told you you're not healthy. I told you you can't have a good relationship. I told you you can't start a business, right? So we got to put ourselves in position to win, to manifest, to conquer, to overcome, okay? And some of the ways that we do that is by using the five senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch, smelling, using those five senses and bringing those things together to ultimately tap into your sixth sense, sense, spirit, right? So you start to, in like if we're talking about abundance, just because that's the last example that I use, if we're talking about abundance, you start to smell abundance. What does abundance smell like to you, right? 
You start to hear abundance. What does abundance sound like to you? You start to taste abundance. What does abundance taste like to you? What does it look like to you? And when you tap into those different realms, right? Because all of these senses, they're realms, right? They're levels. When you tap into all of those different realms, you also tap your spirit into those realms, okay? And you say, okay, I am going to identify abundance and prosperity in all things going on around me. But again, your ego is going to be like, no, nah, that don't mean that. But I'm here to tell you right now that you can give meaning to the most mundane, the most minute experiences that you have within your five senses. You can give spiritual meaning to them. But again, how do you give you know, these mundane things that you see, these everyday things that you experience, how do you give them a higher vibration? Well, one, again, you got to make sure that you put yourself in the vibration to see the positive, to see the good, to see the love, to see the joy in all of those things. Again, that comes from meditating. That comes from reading. That comes from studying. If you're looking for abundance, you need to study abundance. You need to study prosperity. If you're looking for health, you have to study health. You have to study well-being, right? If, you, if you're looking for mental clarity, you have to study how does one discover mental clarity, mental acuity. What herbs can I take that are going to help me to focus? What herbs can I take that are going to help me to meditate? So you got to get in position, family. Where are you located mentally, spiritually, and emotionally? Where are you at, right? Because that abundance, that prosperity, that health, that well-being, that relationship, it may be way over there and you're right here. So you got to tap in and check in with yourself. But I'm telling you the most important thing and the most powerful thing that you can do for yourself is to create a routine that brings you peace and well-being. Dream and I are on a mini vacation right now. I will show y'all him, but I'm I'm gonna let him do his thing. Cause we got stuff. We're in a hotel. We got stuff on the bed and all of that. If the bed was all made and nice and our stuff wasn't all on it, I would flash over there to him. What's up, family? We ain't we recording this and ain't live, but they still gonna hear you say what's up. Mm. <laughs> but. We woke up this morning and we just laid in the bed and we relaxed and we enjoyed ourselves. But what I know brings me peace. I got to do some Qigong. I got to do some yoga. I have to move my body. And so even though we're relaxing and we're, in enjoy and we're enjoying ourselves, I still have to do what I have to do. I have to stay dif disciplined. I have to stay in the flow of what has been working for me. I have to stay in the flow of what has been bringing me my, my well-being. I have to stay in the flow of what has been bringing me my peace of mind, okay? So if you're going through some challenges right now to where you just feel like you can't get out of your head, you feel like you're in this, this space of uncertainty, the number one thing that you can do for yourself is implement at least one ritual. I've been having two or three daily rituals and routines that I tap into. Every day I have to read. Every day I have to do yoga or uh, Qigong. Every day I have to move my body. And every day I have to wake up early and take those deep breaths and tap into myself. Every day. And that has allowed me to find peace amid chaos. All right. So I love you, family. Please know and recognize where you are and put yourself in position to, to gain whatever it is that you desire. Because if you are not vibrationally in alignment, if you're not mentally and emotionally, spiritually in alignment, it's not going to happen. So you got to align. If you need help figuring out what is blocking you from finding that alignment, if you need to discover what your thing can be to find that peace, hit me up, www.relationshipalchemy.org, and I would love, love, love to help you figure it out. Peace.